Hello guys, we are back with another interview problem that is uh, count the number of subgraphs in a given graph. So we have given a graph and we have to write a program to count the number of subgraphs. Okay, so what is subgraph? Subgraph is a subset of a graph. Okay, so for example, this is this entire thing is one graph. Okay, and here we have two subgraphs. Okay, this is one and this is another one because these two are not connected. Okay. Uh, here we have three. So this is one, two, and this is three. Here, there's only one because the uh, entire graph is connected. And so we have only one subgraph. So let's solve this problem. So let's say, for example, this is the given graph. Okay. And so we can see here there are two subgraphs. This is the first one and this is the second one. Okay, so we are going to use DFS here for the traversal. You can use the BFS as well. That is also completely fine. Okay, so we have created a separate video where we have discussed DFS and BFS in detail. I leave the link in the description of this video. Please visit if you want. In this problem, we are going to use the DFS. Okay, so this is our visited array. Uh, this here we'll keep track of. Uh, the nodes which we have visited during our traversal. So let's say we start our traversal from zero. Okay, so we'll mark the zero, zero node as visited. So we'll mark it as true. Now from zero, we can go to one. Yeah, we can go only to one. So now we'll visit one and we'll mark one as visited. Right, so from one, we can either go to zero or two. But zero is already visited, so we'll not go there. We'll come here and visit two. So that is, mark this as true. Now we are at two and we cannot go to one because one is already visited. So we'll visit three and we'll mark three as visited. Okay, so now with this, we are done with the traversal. We cannot go anywhere else, right? During this, during this particular DFS. So now we are done. So we'll count that we have done one DFS, okay? But we have not visited all the nodes. We, we can see that there are two nodes still not visited. So now we'll start another DFS from one of these nodes. So let's say we start from five, right? So we'll mark the node uh, five as visited. And from five, we can go only to four. So we'll go four and we'll mark this node as visited. Now from four, we can go to five, which is already visited and we cannot go anywhere else. So now with this, we have done the traversal of the graph, right? And how many DFS traversals were required? One for this one, so one and one for this one. So one plus one, which is two. And this is gonna be our answer, the number of subgraphs in a given graph. Okay, so let's go back to the problem. Uh, approach, DFS, this is the link you can click. Uh, here we have discussed in detail about uh, DFS using recursion. So let's quickly read the approach. We start the DFS from any random vertex. Once DFS is completed, check if all the vertices are visited. If the graph is completely connected, then after first DFS, all the vertices will be marked as visited. In this case, right? All the vertices are connected. If the graph is disconnected, then start another DFS from any vertex, which is still not visited after the first round of DFS and check again if all the vertices are visited. Repeat the above process until all the vertices are visited. Keep counting the number of DFS calls. This will be our answer to number of subgraphs, okay? So let's uh, take a look at the code. So this is uh, this is our class for graph, number of vertices, adjacency list. And uh, we have a separate video where we have discussed about the graph and its representations. Uh, we have discussed adjacency list and adjacency metrics. I leave the link in the description. Uh, please visit if you want. So. Yeah, this is the constructor, number of vertices. Uh, yeah, number of, uh, for each vertices, we have a linked list and we initialize it here. This is the uh, add edge uh, 
forward edge and backward edge between source and destination. Yeah, this is our function. So here uh, we create a Boolean array as the same size of number of vertices. The count is zero. The, this count is going to be the number of DFS required. That means the number of subgraphs, and this is going to be our final answer. Now here we have a function called check graph is visited. So what we are doing, we are essentially visiting um, all the uh, indexes in the array and check if uh, uh, any of the indexes not visited, right? And if it is not visited, we'll return that particular uh, index. Else we'll return minus one. So once we are returning minus one, that means all the uh, vertices in the graph is visited. Okay, so we'll call that uh, function uh, if it is not minus one I need to index and call the DFS okay so this is our DFS uh, so mark the current node as true and visit all the neighbor nodes if they are not already visited okay so every time we do a DFS we increment the count right so this count represents the number of DFS required until all the nodes are visited and we'll return that count. So that is the number of subgraphs. Okay, and uh, you can click here to run this code to understand it better. So this is how we are going to solve this problem. And uh, now we can mark this uh, problem as completed. And please visit our website tutorialhorizon.com for uh, more interview problems. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.